In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, um, Jesus says that the knowledge of nothingness gives Jesus and Mary through Louisa the freedom to do what they want. The, 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 the new, this abundant life of Jesus, this abundant life of Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve. So in volume two, September 9th, uh, 1899, Jesus continued to come, but with an appearance all new. And see, this is the thing. This is the, the beatific vision. God is never the same. He's just more beautiful, more spectacular, uh, more uh, you, you experience the love of God in a way that you never have before. That's heaven. Uh, heaven is the life of God that we're going to enter into. As Our Lady said to Bruno in 1947, my children are going to enter the eternity where they belong, and they're going to enjoy the beatific vision. So this appearance that's all new, uh, and that's what happens when we read the book of heaven. Every day when you read, there's something more beautiful, new that you've never seen before. He keeps on expanding our capacity. It seems, she, she said, that the trunk of a tree was coming out of Jesus's blessed heart, which contained three distinct roots. The, this trunk was leaning out of his heart into mine. And coming out of my heart, it formed many beautiful branches, loaded with flowers, with fruits, with pearls, with precious stones, shining like the most refulgent stars. Now, seeing himself in the shade of this tree, here, this tree is coming out of her heart. My loving Jesus was all amused. See, he's, he's making Louisa his divine masterpiece. I mean, it's who would have thought of this, this trunk of the tree going into our heart coming out, out of our heart, fruit and flowers and, and, you know, diamonds and rubies, you know, these precious stones. And, and Jesus being amused by, by delighted by seeing this, what, what he is doing with us. And so he says these, she says, and so uh, since many of these pearls were falling from the tree and forming a beautiful or ornament for his most holy humanity, while he was in this position, Jesus tells me, my dearest daughter of mine, the three roots you see in this tree are, are faith, hope, and love, charity. The fact that you see this trunk coming out of me and entering into your heart means that there is no good that souls possess which do not come from me. So here Jesus is, is giving us a glimpse of how he wants to see our hearts. It's It's what, like he said to Adam, be fruitful and multiply. What is multiply? Where's the fruit of your thoughts? Where's the fruit of your words? Where's the fruit of your deeds? What, what, is, what is coming to life in everything that you're thinking, saying, and doing with your intellect, memory, and will? It, Jesus is showing us this. Are, are, are we beginning to understand this new and divine way of holiness? that God wants us to be. It's not just about, you know, piety, the pious positions, tilting your head and praying. It's about bearing fruit. Be fruitful and multiply with every thought, every word, every deed. Because Jesus is there. Mary is there. The new Adam and the new Eve, that they, they, we have been redeemed. And now what God wants is us to, to be sanctified. <coughs> he says, the fact that you see this trunk coming out of me and entering into your heart means that there is no good that souls possess which do not come from me. Jesus, you are my Lord, my Savior, my Master, my King. Jesus, everything comes from you. So after faith, hope, and charity, and the first development uh, that this trunk does is to make known that everything good comes from God. Look at the, look at the sky. I adore you, Lord. I praise you. I thank you for this beautiful sky. You look at the ocean. I adore you, Lord. I praise you. I thank you. I glorify you for the ocean. You look at the stars at night. Everything that's good comes from God. 
Our job is to recognize this divine I love you, breathe it in, and give back to God by the life of Jesus and Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve, this I love you, I praise you, I thank you. This is the rounds. So Jesus says that the creatures have nothing of their own but their own nothingness. And this nothingness does not does nothing other than give me, Jesus and Mary, the freedom to enter into the souls to do what I, God, want. That's that's heaven. That's that's a share in divinity. So Jesus is looking at us and he's saying, how are, how are you allowing me, the Lord God Almighty, and my mother, the new Adam and the new Eve, to, to live your life, to help you uh, begin to live a life of, of peace, joy, and happiness, a live a life of heaven on earth? We can't, we can't live a life of heaven without the life of Jesus and Mary. If we're living our life, it's misery. But when we're living the life of Jesus and Mary, the way we're supposed to, we're filled with peace, joy, and happiness. The, creature, the creatures that have nothing of their own, but their own nothingness. And that nothingness does nothing other than give God, Jesus and Mary, now this new Adam and the new Eve, the freedom to enter into each soul to do what God wants. So he's given us the perfect example of the life of Jesus and Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve. But there are other nothings, that is, other souls who make opposition with their own free will. So, see, it, it, you choose. Do you, want to, do you want to say yes to God, fiat to God, or no? They make an opposition with their own free will. So because this knowledge is lacking, the trunk, this this, this life of Jesus produces neither branches nor fruits in the soul, nor anything else that is good. And the branches that this tree contains with all the uh, apparatus of flowers and fruits and pearls and precious stones and all the other different virtues that the soul can possess. Now, who has given life to such a beautiful tree? Certainly the roots This that comes from Jesus. Faith, hope, and charity. This this. This faith, hope, and charity is, is the life of Jesus. It's the life of Mary. And, and what does Jesus say when, when somebody's healed? He says, it's your faith that has healed you. Faith in what? Faith in Jesus. It's your faith in you that has healed you. When, when Peter was walking on the water and he starts to sink, after he says to Jesus, if you're the Messiah, command me to come to you. Uh, and he starts thinking, he cries out to Jesus, Lord, save me. Jesus doesn't go, good job. You've dry, walked 20 feet on the water. You're doing a really good job. He goes, why did you fail? Why did you falter? Where is your faith? The faith isn't in the, Peter walking on the water. The faith is in Jesus. You command me to come on the water. Command me to walk on the water. Come to you, Lord. And, G and Jesus has come. Trust me. Believe in me. Hope in me. See, we're going to go through some really difficult things pretty soon. I mean, if we're not already going through them. And it's going to be either we trust in Jesus and get through this, or we don't. We drowned. It's, it's got to be, it's to trust in Jesus is not just to trust in him, but to have total and complete total and complete, total and complete confidence in Jesus. Is he our Lord, our Savior, our Master, our King? When we wake up in the morning, do we say, Lord, this day is yours. I, everything that I think, say, and do, I want to do in the divine will, one with you, one with your mother, through Louisa. I want, I want to begin to live this abundant life, no longer of earth, but only of heaven. And when, are, we, are we surrendered to Jesus what he wants in faith, hope, and charity? Or is it because um, we're living our own miserable life? I want what I want. It's, it's, Jesus says, faith, hope, and charity embraces everything and contains all virtues, so much so that 
they are placed at, at there at the base and the foundation of the tree. And without faith, or hope, or charity, there is no other virtue that can be produced. So that the simple and, and and again, one of the one of the things that we do is the three Hail Marys before uh, we get into the 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 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. We pray for an increase of faith, hope, and charity. We we want this faith, hope, and charity. Teaching our children faith, hope, and charity. Uh, mentioning faith, hope, and charity in, in in what we think, say, and do. This this. The, these uh, theological virtues help bring about all the other virtues. And so our, our God is asking us, pleading with us, are you, are you truly trying to live in your nothingness? Are you truly trying to uh, surrender to God and do what God wants? What does God want? He wants you to be peaceful, joyful, and happy. Amid all that's going on, absolutely. Why? We trust in him. The final devotion, Jesus says, that I give to my church before I return is divine mercy. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I have confidence in you. Jesus, I hope in you. I have certitude. I know you're going to be my, you're going to take care of everything. It's going to get bumpy. It's going to get nerve wracking. Um, but our confidence is in God. We have to get to the point when we see an impossible situation. We say to the Lord, I can't wait to see what you're going to do, Lord. I trust in you. I have confidence in you. And, and God goes, good, you really, are you really serious? And we go, yes, they're really serious. Who else can I turn to? You are my Lord, my Savior, my Master, my King. Mary is my mother and queen. I trust in you completely. God goes, good, watch what I'm going to do. He wants to surprise us. He, he is such a loving God. He's such a... Uh, great God, uh, that he wants us to begin to understand that this life, this, this heavenly life, that the, the beatific vision is what God wants us to begin to live in eternity, uh, uh, enjoying that beatific vision while on earth. Heaven's coming to earth. Jesus says, I want no difference between heaven and earth. So the Lord is looking at us and the Lord is saying, are you ready for this new and divine way of holiness? And when we go, yes, he goes, let me see it. Let me see it in you. It's, it's our, our trust in him, our belief in him, our confidence in him is, is to love him so much that everything that we think bears fruit. Everything that we say bears fruit. Everything that uh, we love bears fruit. We're repairing and redoing in not only our life, but the name of everyone and everything past, present, and future to look as if Adam never sinned. That's our job. That's what God, that's why God created us to be alive at this time. He predestined us to live at this time, to give us the book of heaven, to begin to live this, this beautiful life. And each day it's more beautiful. Each day it's more sp spontaneous. Each day it's more, more spectacular. May the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask this in Jesus' name, under the mantle of Mary, through the intercession of Louisa. And we pray that this prayer becomes God's command. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.